Hey everyone, welcome back to the tax show for people who owe. I'm Dave. And I'm Phil. And we have a new year and a new office. And what else, Phil? A new set. Look around. We have a new set. We are not nationally syndicated as of yet. I'm not sure if we ever will be, but we do have some great information for you for taxpayers who owe as we roll into 2024. Phil, what was the big announcement at the end of the year? Well, right before Christmas, ours had two big announcements. One is that they were resuming collections for taxpayers who owe, but also two, a big announcement on penalty relief. So it sounds like they were playing Santa a little bit. Candy for some, hopefully a lot, and coal for others. So Phil, let's talk about both of those scenarios. And let's start with what, the candy? Let's start with the candy, I like it's a little to sweet okay. to start with. So. That's a billion dollars in tax relief that's coming to taxpayers who owe for the tax years 2020 and 2021. Mm. Why not 2022? Uh, 2022, if you owe for 2022, you already got a notice for balance due, if not a collection notice about intent to levy or uh, lien on your property. Okay, it's very rare that the IRS uses the word relief for taxpayers. So it's important for taxpayers to owe and maybe for you to explain who qualifies and how much they're gonna get back. Great question. How much of this billion dollar pie will you get? So if you filed a form 1040, 1120, a 1041, or 990T, mm. those are the forms that are generally eligible for this relief. You have okay. to have filed them, also received a statutory notice. This statutory notice is reminding you that you owe taxes after you filed. Basically the balance due notice, right? Exactly. At minimum. But most importantly, you have to have owed less than $100,000, including penalties and interest. So those folks are owe a ton of money to the IRS, big amounts, and that's, there's not a lot in that category. You might be getting some coal this Christmas, I apologize, or got coal this Christmas. Okay, Phil, so what do taxpayers who owe need to do to get this relief? It's a lot of money. Great question. Luckily, nothing right now. Mm. So the first wave of relief has already started December 7th. The second wave will be completed by February 2024, and everything should be wrapped up by March because the important date you have to remember is that you have until March 31st, 2024 to pay all these balance dues. Got it. So after that, what's going to happen with balance? If there's any balance due at that point, the penalties that were abated are going to start coming back. It's going to mm. start reoccurring. And that penalty is the failure to pay penalty, which accrues at half a percent a month, as long as the balance remains unpaid. Great. So that was the candy. A lot to Take, that doesn't sound like a lot of candy. There's a lot to do for that candy, but there is a lot of candy out there, right? Let's talk about the coal now. What's starting with the IRS? What are they announced with this big announcement? So collections resuming. What that means for taxpayers who owed, have a balance due, or maybe even haven't filed yet, mm -hmm. is that the process is going to restart, meaning IRS will start filing for you and or start filing liens and levying your bank account or garnishing your wages to collect any unpaid balances. But before those scary things happen, Dave, there's gonna be notices that come to remind you to pay up. As you know from prior episodes, you do not want the IRS to file for you. That leads to many negative consequences, the most negative consequences for taxpayers who owe or may not owe yet because they haven't filed. Okay, so thank you, Phil, for covering that. Now, the IRS did also announce to look out for folks who are going to take advantage, or try to take advantage of this big announcement they made at the end of the year. What do they tell us about that? Great reminder, Dave. Like I said, the most important aspect of this relief is that it's automatic mm. and there's nothing special about it. Meaning there's nothing special that you need to do as a taxpayer to get the relief. You'll if eligible. If eligible, you'll automatically be identified. And even if you're unsure, after March 2024, right, you can always request it manually as well. And so a lot of promoters or people out there might take advantage of the situation and package this up to be something special, but really, it's relief for all that do qualify and are eligible. Great point, Phil. As always, beware of scams and be aware of folks who take advantage of the IRS announcements such as this. These are big. We want them to do it again. So Phil, let's talk about how taxpayers who owe may find out if they receive this type of relief. Right, so by the end of March, you should have received a letter and you either fall into two buckets. Mm -hmm. One, you may have already paid that penalty that you accrued in full, okay. in which case you might get a check from the IRS. Oh, wow. The other bucket is for those that still owe for 2020 and 2021. For those taxpayers, you'll get a letter letting you know that your penalties and interest has been adjusted and hopefully you've already paid before the end of March. If not, they'll start to reaccrue. So there will be a reduction in the balance owed and you'll see that in this letter. Phil, there's also a ton of non-filers out there. Absolutely. What do we tell them? What are they getting? Time is of the essence. While they may not get penalties and interest abated uh, this round, 
there's still plenty of options for them for relief. Um, I think it really depends on their specific facts and circumstances. Yeah. As all the non-filers, it's always better to approach the IRS before they approach you. So we encourage you to get filed up. If you need help with that, call out to me. We'll be glad to help you. All right, Phil, as we wrap up the show, let's sum it all up for everyone. Give that great advice you always do. I think three main points from today. First is that a billion dollars of penalty relief for those that owe for 2020 and 2021. Secondly, be wary of potential promoters or those that might take advantage of this relief package. It's automatic. Good point. And last but not least, even for those that haven't filed yet, it's never too late to file today. Yes, as I said, we know there's a ton of non-filers out there and 2024 is a year for you to step into the light before that IRS light shines on you. That's not a fun one, right? Nope. Last words, Phil? As usual, do something, especially if you haven't filed yet. That wraps up the show today, everyone. Have a great 2024. We'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thank you for watching today. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you are up to date with all the information you need when you're taking on the IRS. And as always, do something.